Hello, Shane Henderson, massage and movement therapist. What we are going to do now, this is a, this is one that always takes a little time to kind of connect with. So it's called a pelvic lift. It's an important part of hip stabilization when we're walking because it allows, it's this hip that I'm working, instead of jetting this hip out to the side and having like this kind of movement to walk what it does is it stabilizes through the hips so you're pushing down so that foot can swing without the mat there freely through so i would like you to start on top of something either a block or a stack of books that is sturdy so maybe a couple of like thick cookbooks and all you're gonna do is put that one leg on top and then this leg will have to be touching with the toe, okay? So you can already see that this hip is jutted out that direction. So all I want you to do is try and push down through this leg to kind of bring it in. So it's like you're moving away from something sharp, okay? And this leg will naturally all of a sudden like Oh, now I'm just on my tippy toes versus the ball of my foot. Okay? So it's this motion of pushing down that actually forces you to pop up. Right? So I'm pushing down through this leg. This hip, I'm kind of sucking. It's coming in. I'm not, it's like coming into my body but I'm not like just moving it by like sheer force. It's me actually pushing down and imagine I'm just slightly moving away from something sharp here, okay? Also the other thing, well, we're not there yet, so I'll just wait. So I can already, just by doing this very small motion, feel activation in through the side of the hip. So what it looks like just from the side it's not all that exciting but my i'm fully on my foot and i'm just coming up so i'm not moving forward i'm not moving backward i'm trying to stay stacked with my hips over my heel so look very minimal from the side i'm going to switch legs because that one's got a nice little burn going now we're going to try and take this other support leg off. So I highly recommend you come to something to support you balance wise if you're not comfortable with balance. So you're going to place your weight down through the block. You're going to push your foot into the block, moving away from that imaginary sharp eye object. And you'll see now I'm allowing this foot to float up. Right, so I have full swing. So the cheat here, the cheat here is to do it with your lower back on this side. This side really is doing no work, it's all here. So if you're starting to feel tension or connection through this side of your back, it's because you're compressing this side of the back to bring the body up and all we're trying to do is push down through this leg and in down and in see how I raise up there it's like I get tall as my leg comes underneath to support me and then what this allows is we can actually come to the ground eventually push down through that leg and this hovers push down through this leg and all of a sudden I've got just a little bit of hover for that leg swing okay now <laughs> if you really want to go intense you can exaggerate the motion and allow like this leg to be really low and push 
but really you want to start getting that initial connection with just small, small movements because bigger is not necessarily better. It's connecting in through those side hip muscles so that you're activating them and they're really getting stronger to avoid hip issues for better walking, helps with stability so it can avoid for falls, it can help with balance, all great things. So really there's beauty in the small movements so don't go too big too fast.